Hey guys, this reading is going to be an ascension short for my air signs. That would be uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. It's just a quick status check. I'm only pulling a couple of cards. I'm not doing 20 minutes. I'm not doing 40 minutes. Um, at best, 10 minutes, and even that's too long. <laughs> this is a quick check-in with my elements. Okay, air, let's see what's on the docket for you. What's going on with the air? Air signs, please. I mean, element of air. Funny, it comes out in a chunk. So air signs, you may be getting some downloads. First card on the top, Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Okay, either you're in love or you're coming to the point where you're loving yourself. Air sign, Empress. Oh, nope, you're loving your Empress. <laughs> Yo, you could be the Empress. Chariot, Cancer, and Energy. Princess of Wands and Six of Cups. Beautiful cards, by the way. Very nice. Okay, so right off the bat, I cannot tell if this is you. If this is you loving yourself and sitting pretty, um, everything around you might seem beautiful. It could be a child, a new child that you're having or could have had already or you are pregnant. Chariot is Cancerian energy. It's about harnessing all your willpower and determination and going for the finish line uh, seeing the light at the end of the uh, tunnel. It's also about travel. Then we have Princess of Wands. Sexy, young. To me, I see Sagittarius every time I see it because of the impulsivity. Uh, wanting to go here, wanting to go there. Uh, on fire. Full of action. Uh, communication. Princess of Wands is impulsivity. Jumping on a dime. It's also the daughter, okay? So I see like a young, beautiful girl, but this is also somebody who's an inspiration because they're brilliant, okay? And on the love side, they're sexy as hell, okay? Young and sexy, um, impressive and impressionable. And then we have Six of Cups, which is about soulmate energy, Ace of Cups and the Empress. If you are a baby mama, um, you're loving your child or somebody is just in love with you. Okay, this person is your soulmate. If you are a male, you could be in love with your soulmate who is like an empress. She's everything you've ever wanted. Um, she makes life beautiful. She makes everything beautiful. She's the beautifier. Um, without her, life would be so dull and drab. Okay, here we go. We've already got a couple cards turned over in the deck. Let's see. House, toil and labor, and concerned. Okay, for some of you guys who are pregnant or just had a baby, you are having some housing concerns. Um, you may be worried that you can't move about. Maybe you had like an emergency surgery or complications with the child or you just don't have enough help with you to help you in the daily things. You know, you have a new baby. It takes a couple weeks uh, to recover and to, you know, move about the house. Uh, usually when people have children they have family members that help them or a partner that helps them there is somebody here that is really concerned they know that you need help they see that you're working really hard and it's like you're in this big empty house all alone tall tall work this could be somebody i'm getting um I'm getting the king of pentacles energy. This could be somebody that builds houses, a laborer or a physical laborer. This could be a construction worker, a builder. Getting worried about you or worried about the house.
chariot is travel. That is the only travel card I see. Princess of Wands. Somebody might be excited to go on a trip somewhere. Um, feeling like little kid. I'm still standing. I just heard uh, Elton John. Feeling like a little kid. So you may be going, traveling back to the past. I don't know if this is a reunion or if you're going to see the parents or if um, somebody in your family is probably coming to see you and the new baby or this could be somebody coming back from the past they contacted you maybe they're concerned oh look at that they're con they're concerned for you so they're coming to see you and you're pretty excited about it okay on the builder high honor sudden wealth official person and great fortune 1122 i've been seeing that a lot okay so high honor is like it's praise, it's being recognized. Then we have sudden wealth, the triple seven, it's card number 11, so manifesting money. And look, we've got two cards of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Somebody's got some coins, I mean, jingle, jingle, holy shit. Somebody's official person. This is like a first responder. An official could be a policeman, could be a spokesperson, could be a fireman. I just heard 21 gun salute. So this person is coming to help you. They could be in the military or, you know, be retired from the military, but they've had some military experience. They could be in retirement. They could have been an officer, but they've amassed a little bit of money because they've been very wise. This is no, um, holy shit, high honor and sudden wealth, tall, big money. This is big money. Somebody's going to drop a chunk to help you, okay, because they have, I keep hearing amassing a fortune. They've already got the fortune, and it looks like you're getting a little um, gratuity. Oh, look at that. Okay, high honor and sudden wealth. This is a big chunk of money. Somebody loves you or somebody's willing to help you out. They could send it by telegram, like personal carrier. Great fortune is hitting the big time. You've got two big time cards here, an official person. Five of cups and eight of wands. Here's yet another card of traveling. I want to say grant. I keep seeing, I keep hearing grant and scholarship. This could be a scholarship, okay? This could be a scholarship for job well done. Five of cups and eight of wands. Five of cups is about past disappointments. And eight of wands is about is signals manifestation speeding up and traveling failed trip maybe somebody won big in, in Las Vegas or something and they got this big payout and they're willing to share it some with you maybe previously on past trips they didn't win anything but this time this time it looks like they're doing good so high honors and sudden wealth. Somebody's traveling to you. It could be somebody that you've been with before. Somebody that you cared about before. And somebody who's not in your present life. This feels like coming back. Okay, sudden wealth, please. Got my sudden wealth. Oh, huh, didn't I say uh, king of pentacles energy? There it is right there, the king of pentacles. So that's verified. Okay, sudden wealth, three of wands, the emperor and the high priestess. Oh my God, you are their goddess. My muse, you are my muse. You 
you're an inspiration to them, a divine inspiration. You help balance them out for some reason. Just your presence, your spiritual energy. There's a big opportunity here. There's a big opportunity. Of course, the emperor can be somebody who's running a big business and they want to come offer you something for your work. They could be recruiting you. Yeah, this could be a recruitment because you know something. It's for something that you know, something that you're highly skilled and intuitive at. Like this could be some kind of puzzle solving because this is also equated with a mystery, the moon. There's unknown, something unknown. Destination unknown. Opportunity. I did say opportunity previous, yeah. Here's the uh, Three of Wands is the card of opportunity. This is a solid opportunity. For what? For power? For fame? Possibly. I'm not sure if this involves the limelight or not. But it definitely involves somebody who's going to be helping you. And then something. This is like on your own. This is a just dessert. This is your reward or something for something you've done. Because there's praise here. Acknowledgement. The emperor, the ruler, stability, security. You might... Solving the mysteries. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, multitasking. You could be a mom and your highly specialized skill is to multitask and, you know, find solutions to problems. So this feels like management, an opportunity for management using your skills, your prowess, your intuition. I heard dead on. We think you're the right person for this job. Okay, guys, I'm, oh, hold on. I'm going to pull one. Oh, there it is. Spiritual understanding directly connected. The high priestess. Spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths, which is, by the way, signs speeding up. So you guys might be seeing a lot of numbers. Um, before, and here's 33, here's 11, here's 22. You have all the master numbers in here. So somebody is um, somebody's getting to exactly where they need to be. They're being helped along spiritually and in the physical realm also. They know what they're doing and they're, they're using their guides. That's what the high priestess is all about. So you may be seeing a lot of threes. And I can tell you personally today, I saw 11, 11, four times. I saw three, 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 three times. <laughs> and and seventy number 77 is still all up my ass. 7, 11, 77, 11. And I see a lot of repeating numbers. But if you guys don't know, synchronicity is the norm. Okay, so I'm going to sign off. Love you guys. I'll see you guys later.